Imagine a vast universe, incredibly cold, constantly expanding. How did it all begin? Let's go back in time. Imagine you are at the very beginning of the universe, nearly 14,000 million years ago. Imagine the energy of the entire universe, compressed into a space smaller than a pinhead. Imagine you are inside that tiny space. Time stands still. Nothing we know or can imagine exists. Everything is about to change. Forever. At this moment, the Big Bang, pure energy, is released. In a furnace of heat, space expands at incredible speed. In the tiniest fraction of a second, our universe is born. This is the deepest of all mysteries. Some of the energy now condenses into matter. At this moment, all the particles that make up our universe are created. Some we do not understand yet. Among the others are incredibly small quarks, electrons, neutrinos. Particles that will make everything we know, including you. Look closely. They come into being as pairs. Particles and their opposite antiparticles. Fatally attracted. They annihilate each other. But some of the matter survives, fortunately for us. Matter that makes up everything we know. As the universe cools, quarks are grouping into threes to form neutrons and protons. These make up the simplest nuclei. All of this is in the first three minutes from the beginning of time. But for the coming thousands of years, the intense heat and energy stop electrons from combining with these nuclei. Let's travel on. 380,000 years from the Big Bang. The universe has expanded and it is colder. Now the electrons are free to surround tiny protons and form the first simple atoms, hydrogen and helium. And as the atoms form, light particles now travel through space unimpeded. What was once a fog of colliding particles suddenly clears. Let there be light. This first light can still be seen as the cosmic microwave background, a permanent fingerprint on our universe. We travel forward for hundreds of millions of years. Now, the force of gravity is making clouds of hydrogen and helium atoms contract, triggering nuclear reactions. Everywhere, the first beautiful stars are born. Some of them are massive. They exhaust their fuel, collapse in on themselves, and in the silence of space, explode as giant supernovae. But out of the crucible of destruction come heavy elements, among them carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, iron, even gold. Elements that will form planets and the seeds of life. Generations of stars live and die. Formerly dense and incredibly hot, our universe is now cold and empty. After 9,000 million years, in the spiral arm of a distant galaxy, something important is forming. Here in this infinite space, among millions of galaxies, there is a solar system. In that solar system, one of the planets has cooled enough for liquid water to form and for life to begin. It is our home, planet Earth. And on that Earth are creatures with the extraordinary ability to reflect back 
on the meaning of the universe.